Hello everyone and welcome back to Beatley Tony's Beatles channel. Uh, lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, well, as you know, on this channel, I like to bring you breaking news as soon as I hear it. And there has been some more today. Uh, honestly, it never rains, but it pours. Um, We've been absolutely spoiled uh, for um, Beatles releases uh, this year. And uh, especially in this this final quarter and there has been some more today um you know i said in my video yesterday that it's heavily rumored that there's going to be an announcement from the john lennon camp on october the 9th his birthday um next week uh that something else is coming out from the lennon camp don't know whether that is mind games related or something completely different we'll have to wait and see uh, if that rumor uh, comes to uh, fruition uh, and obviously when it does i will be all over it but today um and maybe just an hour ago or something like that um there has been an announcement uh there is an announcement on beatles.com and i should state uh, that this is only on the uk uh, Beatles.com page. It doesn't appear on the U US uh, Beatles.com page at the moment. At the moment, um, but they have announced um, that they are putting out uh, a Hard Day's Night, a 60th anniversary uh, Hard Day's Night is coming out on 180 gram white vinyl. Um, I'll tell you exactly what it says and I'll show you the graphic. Um, it says the Beatles announced 60th anniversary reissue in the UK of A Hard Day's Night on limited 180 gram white vinyl out October the 19th in celebration of National Album Day, whatever that is. Um, but, you know, it's it all seems very slapdash because if you go there, you go uh, onto that page um you know, they say it's coming out October the 19th. There is no pre-order uh, button. There is no price uh, for it. So you can't, it's just it's just an announcement. Um, it's, you know, you can't actually buy it. Uh, you can't order it yet. Uh, I expect that will happen in the next uh, day or two. Uh, the graphic um, that you just saw shows the, you know, the stereo album, um, which is, you know, surprising because... You know, if it had been the mono album, that would have made complete sense because it would be, um, you know, it kind of tie in with the, you know, the, the mono releases that the cut of the Capitol albums that are coming out. Um, this is a very, very weird one. And in fact, I saw this first on Facebook and I actually thought it might be a, a scam because, you know, I think I'm right in saying that this is the first time uh, an album from the Beatles core canon so I'm not including the red and blue album in that but the the core out you know album canon uh, has been issued on colored vinyl I don't think there has ever been a legit colored vinyl version of a Beatles album I know there's been uh, plenty of shitty bootlegs that have come out over the years on pink vinyl yellow vinyl whatever um, but I don't think for the original uh, Canon has had a coloured vinyl. There was a, a yellow vinyl, uh, yellow submarine songbook um, uh, issue, I think. But this is the first one of the normal, you know, please, please me to let it be um, albums that has come out on coloured vinyl. So it's quite a big deal, I suppose. Um, but, you know, this is this has come um, when I'm halfway through my um, my vi my video that I'm I'm currently making, which has a working title of, of "Do Apple Know What They're Doing?" and this kind of, this kind of would fall into that category because it is it seems it's very slapdash. Um, you know, you announce an album that's coming out in 15 days time. There's no pre-order button. There's no price. It doesn't tell you what version of uh, hard days night this is because the graphic says stereo as i said mono would have made more sense but the graphic says stereo so what version is it is it you know the the original stereo uh mix from 1964 uh is it you know what's one that came out in the 70s is it the the um 2009 remaster that was you know uh, came out on cd in 2009 uh was then digitally transferred to vinyl in 2012 is it that 
that version uh, that this is we don't know we don't know i mean i, I doubt very much that it's a remix um because i'm sure there would be much more pomp and ceremony um if it was a remix and there'd probably be a much bigger lead up time as well um but this is a really weird one <laughs> i think um but uh i think a welcome one uh I quite like the look of Hard Day's Night being on white vinyl, even though it goes against everything I said uh, that I said that I said recently about. I think it was on my live stream. I said that it just doesn't feel right uh, that the, the uh, Beatles sixties albums come out on coloured vinyl because coloured vinyl is just such a thing of the seventies and eighties and beyond. Uh, there was no coloured vinyl in the sixties, and it just it just doesn't seem right. But you know, having a look at the graphic, looks quite nice. I'm a bit of a sucker for coloured vinyl. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's <laughs> bring it on. Bring it on. Let's see, uh, you know, what version it is. And let's see a, a pre-order button and a price. Uh, and then we'll make it, they'll make a decision. Anyway, that is the news. Bizarre that it is. It, look, it looks to me like this is only available in the UK because it's only on the, the UK uh, Beatles.com site it might be that they just haven't got it up on the on the us site or it could be a uk only uh release we'll have to wait and see uh about that but yeah, it's very very slapdash you know normally when something comes out I get an email I haven't had an email at all uh so um very 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 strange anyway i thought i'd tell you uh you know when we know more I'll tell you more, uh, but that's all I can tell you at the moment. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.